Salam, hello and welcome. Today I'm changing the clutch cable for the Yamaha Banshee. Now, recently I've been noticing some rough shifting. When I'm shifting the gears, it's not shifting smoothly, it's shifting rough. And automatically I started thinking, maybe something is wrong with the gears, but because the problem was apparent on one speed, then my thinking went to the clutch. And when I checked, I'm gonna show you what I found. This is the clutch lever, and when I press it all the way, it actually it moves this little lever here. Now you can see with all the pressing, this thing is hardly moving. It's barely not moving at all. Now, the reason is this. And you see the gap over here. Now all this cable slack is causing this issue. And I have pulled the adjuster all the way out. This adjuster is meant to make up for the cable slack over time. So with the adjuster all the way out, and the cable is slacking all that much, that means this cable is bad and has to be changed. It's pretty windy today. In fact, it's, there is a sandstorm, check this out. Anyway, I went and I bought myself a brand new cable for the clutch. And taking a closer look, this actually looks more like a bicycle brake cable on both ends. So, makes me think that installation is going to be as easy as replacing a bicycle brake cable. So let's get into it. Now, in fact, with the cable having several ends this way, it's pretty challenging to take it down because it's hitting everything else. So I'm going to completely cut it and just pull the cable housing. Now it's cut. So I pulled the cable out all the way down from this end. Now I'm going to start working on that end and get it loose from there or free it up from there. So here's where the cable attach. Unfortunately, I'm unable to pull the cable just like that because there is a cable holder at the back. And this cable holder is located right under the carb here. So I'll have to take this carb out in order to be able to remove the cable holder, release the cable and mount the new cable. There's no way around All right, this. so with the carb out of the way, now you can see the holding mechanism and you can see the cable extended right here. So the holding mechanism is actually mounted by one screw or seems like it's mounted by one screw. I don't see any other screws. And this is a 10 mm, so I'll take it out. I'll see what happens. Put the screw out. Now, let's see if, yeah, this is broken loose now. Yeehaw. So here it is. This is the cable holding part. And I can take it away. Yeah, it seems like I'm gonna need both hands. It just doesn't wanna come out. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll hold the cable with these players and try to release it from the other end. Okay, so I managed to get the cable released from this end. But I had to widen this a little bit right here. I had to widen it so that the cable can go out. Now I'm going to press it before I put the new cable in. For now, I can just go and put the cable like so. So this is junk, bye bye. So both ends are different. As you can see, this end goes to the clutch, 
Now that end goes to the clutch lever. It's, it's near impossible to get to do a mistake by mixing both up because it's not gonna fit. Okay, we'll go to the other end. Get the cable seated and it's holding place. Okay, so I'll get it connected at this end. And again, I'm gonna need both hands to do that. Okay, here's the trick that I'm going to use. I'll put the screwdriver here like so, so I can push the cable end all the way and get it seated. No, not fully seated yet. I'll try to push it with the screwdriver. Yeah, now it is seated. That's it. So now I'm going to reinstall the cable holding part. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this for now. I'll extend it from the other end. The reason that I'm not going to commit and tighten everything up, that's because if I face any problem, it's going to be easier to take everything back to the way it was before. Okay, so I'm going to take the cable and push it all the way up from the radiator side. This can be challenging, actually. Come on, come on, cable, come on. This is the cable's end, and now I can just pull it all the way like that. All right, let's make sure that the cable here is not hitting anything dangerous. Yeah, it's just going perfectly hand in hand with the park and brake cable. Perfect. So I'm going to tie things up there and reinstall the car. And this screw does not need a lot of torque. Get it snug, then give it a little push and that's it. Perfect. Okay, so I got the cable attached here and I got the carb installed back. Okay, so I'll sneak the cable through this rubber boot from this end. Okay, perhaps if I get it hot with water. Water is not the best lubricant, but it's safe with rubber. Okay. I'm going to install the slack adjuster and the nut. Nut goes first, adjuster second, or vice versa, it really doesn't matter. And I'll have the nut screwed all the way down. That's because it's brand new cable, I'll adjust later. So it should be installed like that. Make sure it's pushed all the way down and then the lever can be seated. So I'll get the lever screw. And I remember the screw had a nut and washer with it. Can you just get out of the way? Add the screw, put the nut down. Hey, hold the nut, I said hold the nut. I think this is tight enough. Right now, remount the button brake. So 
So now all I have to do is to remount this on back on the handlebar. Actually first, let's do it this way. That's it. All right, so now, moment of truth. There is still some slack here, so I will use the adjuster to pull it down, to pull it back. As you can see, As you can see, as I'm screwing the adjuster, the lever is pulled back by itself. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's see the clutch movement. Now, that is a moving clutch. This is how it should be. And it needs a little pull back. Check this out. This is fully functioning. It is taking the full span that it should take. This thing was not moving before. Right? Tie up the nut. Put the rubber boot the way it's designed to sit. Like that. Wonderful. And so this is how we change and replace and install a new clutch cable for the Yamaha Banshee. If you have a Yamaha Banshee, now you know how to do it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.